It's been a bit of a whirlwind in the Dying Light 2 camp over the last few days. After publishing a Twitter image that stated it would take 500 hours to complete the game, which Techland says is almost as long as it would take to walk from Warsaw to Madrid, it turns out some fans were confused, some angry, and some just wanted to know how much of their lives they would need to dedicate to this game. Thankfully, 500 hours is actually the time it'll take to complete everything that's offered up in Dying Light 2. All of this happened on the 8th of January, with a very quick follow-up explaining that a regular player should finish the story and side quests in less than 100 hours. Now, 100 hours is still a lot of time, and this clarification apparently still wasn't quite enough, as Techland has now come out and given some far more exact statistics about the game and its content. First up, the time needed to complete the main story is 20 hours. This is a far more manageable number, and given that Techland itself has revealed it, perhaps the developer was concerned that initial numbers were off-putting to people. The next stat is that it'll take 80 hours to complete the main story and all of the side quests. And being an open world game, obviously the side quests can be mostly completed at your leisure. So what Techland is saying is that a single playthrough of this game is likely to be a minimum of 20 hours and a maximum of 80. Lastly, that 500 hour stat has appeared again, and this is actually how long it would take to complete the game with all side quests, all choices and endings, checking every place on the map, finding every collectible, and hearing every piece of dialogue. In short, the developer has created 500 hours of content. NME got hands-on with Dying Light 2 last year, where critic Jake Tucker felt that it might not change the world exactly, but it will be a gory fun time. And to read that preview, and for what's new and what's next, head to NME.com. Oh.